Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about writing a basic Python program. So we're going to write just a very simple Python program. We're going to look at how we can go ahead and write our programs. We're going to talk about how our programs are getting executed by Python. And we're also going to draw out a little shape onto the screen. So this is going to be pretty cool. I'm excited to talk to you guys about just the bare basics of Python and really just sort of give you an introduction. So over here, we have our basic text editor. And so any of the Python code that I write inside of this file is actually going to get executed by Python. So this Python file has a bunch of Python code inside of it. And basically what we're doing when we're programming in Python is we're just giving the computer a set of instructions, right? That's really what programming is. It's just like we're specifying a set of instructions and the computer is going to go off and execute those instructions that we give it. And so the more complex the instructions we give to the computer, the more complex the tasks the computer can carry out. So I want to show you guys how we can use some Python instructions or some Python code in order to draw out a shape onto the screen. So I'm actually going to draw out a little triangle. So over here, we can actually print something out onto the screen in Python using something called a print statement. So I can just type out print and inside of these parentheses, I can just type some quotation marks and inside the quotation marks, we can put whatever we want to print out onto the screen. So I'm going to copy this and I'm actually going to make a few of these little print statements and we're going to actually draw a shape. So we're going to draw like a triangle type shape. So down here, I'm just going to draw a forward slash and then up here, I'll make a space and we'll do another forward slash here. We'll make two spaces. We'll do another forward slash and over here, we're going to make three spaces and a forward slash. And now I'm going to draw like vertical bars going all the way down. And actually we can do some underscores here as well. That'd be kind of cool. All right. So now we have our triangle looking shape and you can see it looks kind of like a right triangle. So I can save my file and I can either come up here to run and click run app. Or if you're using PyCharm, you can also just come over here and click this play button. And when I click the play button, I want you to notice what happens down here. So down here we have this little window and this is called the console. And basically the console is just a place where Python is going to output some information. So when we use this print statement, we're basically telling Python like, Hey, can you print something out onto the console? So there's a lot of situations where we're going to want to see what's going on in our code. And we can use that print statement and print things out to the console. And we can basically like have a little window into what our program's doing. In our case, we're just going to be printing out this triangle onto the console. So I'm going to come over here and click this play button and you'll see down here, we're actually printing out that triangle. So mission accomplished. We were able to print out our shape. So I could really draw any shape I wanted as long as I was able to specify it inside of these print statements. And so essentially what Python's doing when I click that play button is it's going into this file and it's looking at all of these instructions in order. So the first thing it does is it goes to this instruction and it says, okay, they want me to draw out these like little forward slash and this vertical bar onto the screen. Once it does that, it goes down to this instruction. It says, okay, they want me to print something out again. When it prints that out, it goes down to this instruction, etc." So Python is actually going to execute the lines of code that we write in order. So the order in which I write the instructions matters a lot. So for example, if I was to take this last line here and put it up here at the top. Now, when I save the file, instead of just drawing out that triangle, it's going to draw out this little upside down bottom thing at the top and then the rest of the triangle down here. So the order of the instructions actually matters a lot. And so this is basically how your Python programs are going to go. As we go through this course, we're going to learn more and more of these little lines. So here we're just using this little print function. Basically it just prints something out onto the screen. There's a bunch of little things like this that we can learn. And as we go through, we'll learn more and more instructions that we can give to the computer. But in this lesson, I just want to kind of show you guys the basics, right? Uh, we can essentially just define these little instructions for the computer and the computer will execute them in order. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. 
Also, we're always looking to improve. So if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.